I am collaborating on a project called Chester Made, uh, which brings together a number of uh, arts organizations as well as the City of Chester and Widener University um, to um, envision an arts and culture uh, district for the future. I was the designer of the logo and I, and I helped them facilitate a couple of the events in downtown Chester. I was brought in as the artist who has had experience working in communities using story and performance and improvisation as the vehicle for civic dialogue. What this did was really do something that was needed uh, for the community and that was just to make sure that arts and culture were identified and celebrated and promoted as they should be. It's been my passion since I've been down here for the last nine years to bring about an art revitalization program. And what Chester Made is all about is really letting people share their stories. Stories are the beginning and the end uh, of this project uh, called Chester Made. And what we've been doing um, in Chester uh, for the month of February is we collected hundreds of stories. We had uh, listening sessions, one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions, eight, eight, a total of eight. Three of them were one-on-one -on -one interviews and then the other five we had group interviews. And in there, we asked, we had a couple of questions for, for each person that participated in terms of uh, what experience that they had, past or present, uh, that affected them in a positive way. By hearing those stories, I think it starts to put Chester back on the map where it should be. These stories are going to form literally a map. Um, as we were asking people to um, come out and tell their stories, we said, let's get your story on the map. To me, just about any, everything we do has an element or component of, of arts and cultures. If you're from Chester and you're an artist or you're an art lover and you see something like this that's going on, get up and get involved with it. Well, to me, Chester Made is capturing a sense of place. Every place has its own unique identity and Chester Made is Chester Made. And what we want to do is celebrate the people that are there on the ground creating art part of the culture. Any movement in the arts is important, whether it's Chester Made, whether it's another group or organization doing something. I think it's all needed in Chester, but just the name Chester Made, it rings a bell to the people in the community. It's sort of like a wake up call that if you are branded here in Chester, just get up, get out and do something. This is what I, what I heard the uh, moment I came into Chester um, that, uh, well, if we're going to have an arts and culture district, it's got to be Chester Made. Part of what's been really great about bringing back this, this slogan, Chester Made, is that on the one hand it echoes the pride and the manufacturing history of Chester, and at the same time it helps us really remember the pride that we've had in the arts and help us see that there's a lot of really cool arts stuff going on right now that was invisible to a lot of people, and now Chester Made and that slogan is making it visible. There's so much potential here and we have to fulfill that potential. And yes, it takes the community coming together and speaking aloud. Next year, the Chester Made brand could be international instead of just Chester. The main thing is to help it grow. It's an identity, it's a brand, and it's saying that arts and culture is happening in Chester. Come see it.